Hey guys, it's Will and welcome back to the studio. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a briefcase handle or hand handbag handle, shoulder bag handle, basically whatever you like. This is a really well-rounded, super useful handle for pretty much any project you can throw it at. This is going to be the first part of this series, of this, this mini series if you like. There's just far too much to show you for one for one episode. So make sure you're liked and subscribed so you don't miss out on future episodes where I show you how to not just make it but also attach it to your, to your bag. I look forward to showing you how to do it. So let's dive right in, shall we? Okay, so I have cut out the reliefs. So these are what pad up the top and the bottom of the handle. Next thing we're gonna do is for the top reliefs, we're gonna sand off the finish on the top and the bottom. And then we're gonna glue these together because these need to be glued together and then shape down. So that's what we're gonna do next. For this, I'm using 320 grit sandpaper, but you could also use a roughing tool or anything else really, but this is what I've got to hand. So I'm just gonna use a 320 grit. Now, you could take the top or the bottom off, but I'm gonna take both because we're gonna need both off anyway, because they'll be glued together and then they'll be covered and everything else. And just to remind you, this is a 1.9 to 2mm thick veg tan, um, I can't remember which tannery it's from. Obviously if I were to not sand the top, uh, the, the finishes off, it wouldn't stick properly. It's all sanded off, the glue will stick nicely to that.
All right, so now that's glued together and hammered down, so it's really, really, st uh, really uh, stuck. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is shave the edges off and uh, give it a nice curved appearance. Now we've got the rough shape in, I'm going to use some 320 sandpaper and uh, finish sculpting it. Okay, so this is the bottom relief and I've gone ahead and skived this down. I'll just give that a bit of a clean up, but this is going to be going on the bottom of the handle. So it'll help hold that in shape there. Okay, so I've marked out where the top relief is going to go. It's going to plonk in just there. So the next thing we're going to do is score the area that it's going to be glued. Now I'm going to use this instead of sandpaper this time, simply because I want to get it really, really um, upset in there. Instead of the sandpaper, which will just take the top layer off everything, this needs to be really, really well secure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And now we're going to cover that in glue. You can glue the entire thing because when the glue uh, dries and it's ready to stick, it'll be completely clear. So you'll be able to see the marks anyway. I'm now going to share with you guys a little trick on how to make the handle stay in that position. So the first thing we're going to do is glue it in the middle, but only in the middle. So you could hold it like that, you can hold it like that, however you feel most comfortable. Now, now that's glued in the middle, as you can see, we're going to roll it one way and we're going to glue that down. And now we're going to roll it the other way and do the same thing. Now as you can see, that holds it nicely in that position. Okay, so this is all glued up now as you can see what we're going to do is place this in the middle because what we need <clears throat> what we need to do 
is make sure that the tabs on the end are at about a 90 degree angle. So the way to do that is to make sure it's in the middle, put the middle down, roll it, and then when you get to the end, flip it over and put it down like that. There we go. And now use, using your thumbs and fingers, push it down. We're gonna use a bone folder later, but right for now, we're just gonna use our fingers. Make sure it's properly in that crease because we're going to follow that around to punch the, the stitching holes. And as you can see, you start getting a really nice shape. Now using the bone folder, push it into that crease. So this side's without it and this side's with it and you can see what a difference that makes in contrast. Now we haven't put the back side on yet, the back side is still over here and that's because we want it to be able to go flat so we can punch the holes. And you can see how nicely that starts looking. And now we're just going to flip it over and we're going to cut the excess off. So we're now going to put the backing on and it's going to be the same thing again so we're going to line it up put it on and then we're going to flip it over and make sure that those tabs are flat There we go, and we're going to cut that out. And we're done. Right, so the next step is going to be to sand the edges down and uh, stitch it. So let's get on with that now, shall we?
All right, so now that's done, all that's left to do is to paint and polish the edges and it's finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. It was really fun to show you how to make this handle and I look forward to seeing you next time where I'll be showing you exactly how to attach it to your bag. There'll be some iterations, some some variables that you can take home and, and figure out yourself because it will change depending on the bag that you're making or the, the project that you're making. But I can't wait to show you, so don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment box below.